Welcome to the Friday, December 6, 2013 edition of Erner Berry's Daily Video, sponsored by Absano's Market Insight Report. Today's show features an extended slide in some of this week's hog future prices. And then find out how a Costa Rican fresh tilapia producer has capitalized on increased U.S. shipments. But first, let's start our program with a natural jerky brand's newest campaign. Here's your host, Jamie Chadwick. Leading beef jerky brand Oberto stands to gain a little more notoriety in 2014 by partnering with world-class athletes in a new year-long promotional campaign. The America's Protein Campaign will place Oberto's signature beef jerky in the hands of some world-class athletes to help promote the brand's high-end protein jerky line. World-renowned snowboarder Louis Vito will debut as the campaign's official Stokes person, whom Oberto thinks is a great fit to show how the company's all-natural protein helps fuel those with active lifestyles. Foodmarket.com subscribers can log on to get more details about Oberto's latest advertising campaign, along with other center-of-the-plate protein news. In other news, yesterday's hog future trading continued the week's tailspin for December prices. Here is Ernerberry Pork Market reporter Russell Barton with more. Average live weights for slaughter hogs in Iowa and southern Minnesota hit an all-time high for a fifth consecutive week with the latest figure at 281.7 pounds, up 0.3 pounds from the previous week and 6.5 pounds above year ago, according to USDA data. Cheaper feed costs and other factors, including a preference for heavier animals by some pork processors, have contributed to increased hog weights, a trend that has been underway for several decades. More weight means more pork produced from each animal, which can be bearish for prices, and futures reflected those concerns Thursday in part by extending this week's slide by hitting nearly a three and a half month low in December. Some analysts predict that hog weights may be at or near a seasonal peak. The arrival of colder temperatures and more current marketings around this time of year could result in at least a short-term high for weights. Comtel subscribers can get more hog future news and notes by clicking the news link under the red meat tab. Thanks, Russ. Meanwhile, U.S. fresh tilapia imports continue to trend at record levels in 2013 to the benefit of Costa Rican producers. Here to wrap up today's video with the details is Seafood.com news staff writer Michael Ramsing. Rainforest and its parent company Aqua Chile have reported stellar growth in their fresh tilapia business based in Costa Rica. According to documents filed with the Chilean Stock Exchange, Aqua Chile reported a 21% increase in fresh tilapia fillet sales volumes to go along with a 16% rise in sales values during the third quarter of the year. On a year-to-date level, the producer's sales figures are equally as impressive, having increased its exported volume 17% and value 16%. Aqua Chile's upbeat performance is consistent with an increase in imports from from the U.S., which has historically served as the top market for Costa Rican fresh tilapia fillets. Through October, the U.S. has imported over 62% more fresh tilapia fillets from Costa Rica to a new all-time high of 12.6 million pounds, much to the benefit of the Costa Rican industry. Remember to log on to SeafoodNews.com to read more fresh tilapia fillet news along with other top stories from the seafood industry. Thanks, Michael. That'll wrap up our programming for the week. Thanks for watching and have a great weekend. Today's video is sponsored by Upsano's Market Insight for the Meat Industry, providing information, education, and insight for the beef, pork, and poultry industries. View a sample report at Upsano.com or call 800-932-0617 to get your free sample today.